Would anyone else care to challenge me? That's what I thought. DJ, drop a beat. <laughs> Guys, if you like what I do here on Toy Gander, make sure you subscribe and click that little bell icon. You will be the first to be notified when I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. First up is Bane the Big Fig. When I originally saw this version of Bane in the Lego Batman movie, I could not wait for them to come out with the actual Big Fig. This is the best design on any Big Fig that I've ever seen. Just because there's so much going on with them, and I, I really like the character Bane as it is. Uh, this, this character, he sits a lot bigger than a minifigure, so it just makes sense. He lends himself to a Big Fig. But the part, the interesting parts here are these tubes that go into his arms. The face design is really good. I like how his, his shoulders are giant, but he has this tiny little head in the middle of his body. And it just makes sense. It, it's, it come, kind of protrudes forward. He has this furry coat under there. If you've ever seen the Batman or Dark Knight trilogy, it's the same one within that. He even has the same voice within the movie. But uh, really great design. I like how this all goes in there. I like all the intricate details throughout this. I like the paint scheme. This is honestly done very well and one of my favorite big figs that I have. Mini fig number two. There's two pieces that I think really stand out in that. That's this coat and this headpiece. This headpiece I really do like. It's really so far, I mean, if you see all the intricate detail molding within the whole piece, it looks fantastic. What would be really cool to take it up a notch is just to take some silver paint, kind of line the inside of it. I think that would really make it stand out even more. And his face, obviously you have Bane's face right here. Now the other part that I, I had some trouble with was this coat. The coat just kind of sits a little bit weird, and it's actually kind of hard to determine which side is supposed to be which. There's a slightly fuzzier side that actually goes on the outside. Uh, but when I started like flipping around the collar and trying to get get it just so, it kind of slopes down a little bit, so it looks like he has kind of a dress on. I think this is one of the better custom minifigures that are out there, and I wish LEGO would have released this official one. This is one from the Dark Knight, clearly. He includes this weapon, which you'll never see LEGO actually make something like that. One thing to note, though, there's one hand that's got a black glove and the other one doesn't. I don't know if that's true to the movie yet. I have to double check the movie to see if that's right, but uh, it doesn't seem right to me. It seems like he should have either two black gloves or two pale hands. And same typical print that you get on the back, which I'm not going to take off. We will. I will take a look at the back of the head for a second. A lot of detail on the back of the head, which does get covered up by this, but I think it's totally worth it because this looks better. Minifig number three. This is one of those micro madness custom versions of Bane and the only part really on this that's custom are these custom leg pieces which I've mentioned before I like these better than the official Lego because you can actually move the feet back and forth. I think they're fantastic. Uh, Lego really needs to jump on board with that. Other than that the, the it's a shorter stature and eh, it's okay. It's got more of a cartoony feel. I always like the ones that are a little bit more realistic. Looking at the back, got a little bit of detail in the back. Nothing to write home about. And he comes with a bomb in there. Uh, definitely not my favorite minifigure. Minifig number four. Another one that I'm not a huge fan of. Now this one, the, the main problems that I have with it are the design choices and the execution. The part that sticks out like a sore thumb, look at those legs. The off painting just doesn't make any sense. He's got like blue underneath there and they kind of taper down off to the left. Makes no sense at all. And then the part that's really harsh is there's a really harsh transition there. 
no side printing and it just makes it stick out a lot a lot worse than what it should the green vest that might be a comic book thing i don't know exactly but uh, i don't dig the green vest i don't like the part that i always hate with these coats or any type of like cape is the transition from the material to the arms unless it is precise and exactly what is uh, the same color it ends up looking off and the red on this this coat just doesn't work it might be a part of the actual character design within the comic books i don't know but i don't like it either way the only part that is okay is maybe this this weapon that he comes with other than that just a very um very poor printing i don't like the coat the coat's a cheaper material than the other one and uh, not my favorite again minifig number five This is the Bane that I think of when I think of the original comic books where Bane literally broke Batman's back right in half and he put him out for a very long time. This closely resembles that Bane and I really do like the overall design choices. It translates very well into Lego, although when I think of Bane I do think a little bigger of a stature, maybe having you know this big Bane in this type of uh, form might look a little bit better. But this one actually does pretty well. I like the printing on the face. The, the head print looks pretty good. It could probably be a little bit brighter. Other than that, the overall printing on the, the torso looks decent. Good transition down to the, to the feet. Decent printing on the back. Uh, you can see his like air canister. I don't know. It's like a pain medication or something that, that feeds right into there. You can see the tubes leading off to the side. That'd be cool. I think it'd be cool to actually like put like a little um little, tiny build on his back kind of like maybe like a ghostbusters pack and just maybe transition to some tubes that look like they're going into his arms i think that would be a great build to see uh my only complaint maybe with this one i would have liked to see some side printing because you got his white arm or his uh, beige arms against that white torso and it doesn't quite transition well you can see that it's like a shirt under there of body armor and if they just would have put a little bit of beige right there, I think it would have looked a little bit better. But other than that, this is a pretty decent character and a great end to the series. Time for a few shoutouts. Mike Animations, Gabe the Dog, Derp Bricks, The Popular Diamond, Winter Studios 12, and Sand Batpool 20. Huge thumbs up to you guys. Thank you so much for watching Toy Gander. And now guys, it's that time of the video. This one's a little bit harder than most. There's one figure somewhere on the screen that's just not quite right. The first subscriber that finds out what is wrong and puts it in the comments below, I will give you a shout out in the next Saturday video. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button and subscribe. And until next time, you can help us take a gander. Wait, wait, wait. Before you click away, why don't you click one of these other Toy Gander videos? If you like this one, you're definitely going to like these. And don't forget to subscribe because I upload twice a week, one on Wednesday, one on Saturdays, and you don't want to miss out on what I upload next.